Hi, I'm Tanya and welcome to the Mum and Baby Yoga session. Now, um, this is a session for you to just really build back your strength and, you know, whatever happened before baby, this is now all about being kind and good to yourself after you've given birth to this whole new life. Um, also, we will be doing some really nice things for baby as well. Um, and we will be doing some tummy time. So please make sure you have a towel, a small towel or a small blanket that you can roll up and put under your baby's chest if they haven't um, done much tummy time. Otherwise, we, we'll do little and often. Um, also, if you've got some ribbons or um, a bit of cloth or something like that, if possible with patterns on, it can be black and white, it can be anything. Um, we will be doing, if you've done the session, the last session is the same, we're going to be doing some um, century for baby. Please make sure you've got a drink um, and take breaks when you need to. Just really listen to your body and, um, you know, just do what you feel is comfortable for you. And slowly but surely you'll build up strength and yeah, hopefully balance and all those kind of things. All right, so let's get started. Um, as the last session, I don't have my doll. So that's the front, that's the back. And um, we're gonna start actually, we're gonna start seated this time. So if you can take a seat. Okay. All right, if you can hold baby in your left arm, I'd like you to sit up straight. If you, are, if you do feel uncomfortable, get yourself a cushion or something, a bolster, and put it under your hip, your bottom. It'll help you um, with your, your score, really. So if you put your cushion underneath you, It'll just give you a bit more support and it'll help you a bit. Otherwise, if you feel comfortable sitting like this, great. All right. So, um, as before, can we sit up nice and tall, shoulders back and relaxed. Want to relax those shoulders. And holding baby in your left arm. Can you place your right fingers on the floor? Can you move your arm up? Then breathe out to your chest. Lower your head and put your hand behind your neck and breathe in and lift and reach up. Remember to relax your shoulders. And down. Once again, breathe in. And out. Lower your head. Breathe in. Keeping those shoulders relaxed, stomachs in tight, and breathe out. Okay, and try and breathe deep into your stomach. Let's go. And out. Chin to chest. Breathe in and raise your head. And out. Great. Okay, give baby some attention. Hello, yes. We're having a great time. And if baby needs rocking more, just, you know, have a little break from what we're doing. So can you swap sides? We will be swapping back again. Okay, sit tall, shoulders back and relax, stomachs in tight. Can you put your left hand on the floor? If you can, move it a little bit back, not quite behind you, but you know, parallel to the back of your, your body. Okay, so breathe in. Out. Lower your chin to chest, breathe in, reach up high, shoulders relaxed, and breathe out. Very good, in, widen your stomach, 
Hello. And breathe in. One more time. In. Out. Jump to chest. And in. And out. Very good. All those shoulders relaxed. And back and down. Swap hands. Give baby some attention. Yeah. A bit weird, isn't it? Okay, and hold baby in your left arm. Okay, so once again, can you rest hand on the floor, a little bit back, shoulders back and down, relaxed. I'd like you to breathe in and out, and bring your arm up and around. Then I'd like you to gently, very gently, just pull from your head, keeping your shoulder relaxed. The idea is we're going to just stretch this part of your body. So sitting tall, shoulders relaxed. Pull gently on your head, breathe in. And out. Don't do anything that feels uncomfortable. In. Out, in, and out, and let go. Okay, maybe. Very good, give baby some attention. And my baby had a feather in its face. Hold baby in its right, in your right hand. Once again, sit tall, stomach and tight. Fingers on the ground, shoulders back and down, resting them, relaxing them, should I say. And breathe in. And out. And gently pulling. Gently pulling your head to the left, relaxing your shoulders back and down. Breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Very good. Okay, so now I'd like you to place baby down at the top of your mat and just gently, kindly get yourself onto your hands and your knees. Very good. And can you go into the basic? simple position of pulling your pelvis in, pushing up from the shoulders and we're going to stay here for a second. We're going to stand up for a moment. If baby is feeling naked you can stand up sooner otherwise can you bring your one foot up, another foot up Move closer to baby, knees bent, grab baby, and remember to root to rise. Slowly. Very good. Okay, so can you stand with your feet? Go more than hip width apart, holding baby, and remember, rise at the front round the back. So we're pulling this up. So from the side, you can see you're pulling up and grounding down there. Okay. And we're just going to 
Yeah, but I'm rocking already. And you get to hear my creaky floor in the back. There we go, that's better. Rocking from side to side. Okay, hopefully baby is feeling a little bit happier now. Okay, can you come to the top of your mat? Feet hip, puts the feet hip distance apart. I just find that hard to say. Alright, so rise at the front, ground at the back. Okay. We're going to Gently, with our knees slightly bent, we're going to lower the head back to the ground. And then we're going to lift half bend, breathing in deep and breathe out. And then rise up. And hands together. Breathe out. We're going to breathe in and slowly fold forward. Very good. Rise halfway. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, go back to your hands and knees. Hopefully we can now communicate nicely with baby. Remember, raise that pelvis, raise up from the shoulders. Okay, now we're going to do cat cow. So breathe in and out. Good stretch, breathe in and out. One more time, breathe in. And blow our baby up. Very good. Now, if you're feeling your arms are strong, you can move back a bit, and we can do you can do push-ups from there. If you're feeling very strong, you can do full push-ups. But what I'd like you to mostly do is just do some push-ups from your box position, from your cat's cow position. This is just slowly moving into strengthening your arms and your wrists. Okay, and kiss baby when you're at the bottom. You ready? Let's go. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Up. And sit back and give baby a nice cuddle and shake out those wrists if you need to. Okay, very good. And put baby back down on the floor. Are those wrists feeling okay? Amazing thing about yoga is it does strengthen the wrists. Wrists? The wrists. Okay, go back into your cat cow position. Remember pulling up the pelvis, rising up from the shoulders. And I'd like you to slide one foot back, the other foot back. We're going to do one plank and then we're going to go down. And I'd like you to, my oh baby's a bit too far forward, I'd like you to lower yourself down. You could move yourself back if baby's too close and hopefully baby can see you. I'd like you to do one. When we go as high, it feels comfortable. So breathe in. And up. And one more. Tuck your toes up here, raise up, and then you're going to move into downward dog. 
Now, can we talk his heart pain journeys? Otherwise, keep a slight gentle bend in the knees. And we're going to breathe once. Yeah, nice deep, deep breath, deepest breath you've done all day. And out. Bend the knees, bring your chest towards your thighs, look forward. And slowly make your way back up to baby. Yeah. Okay. So root to rise. Nice. And slowly. Very good. So rise up at the front. Ground at the back. Okay, so now I'd like you to hold baby on your left side. You can hold with both arms, but I want baby kind of on your left hip. We're going to, so I'll show you, see where we're going to stand on our left foot and move back like that. So make sure you don't move straight behind yourself. Give yourself a bit of space between the two feet so you don't fall over. Okay, you ready? So pull your stomachs in tight. Rise up at the front, ground at the back. Put your weight on your left foot and don't fall into it. Keep strong and go as far back. And look, I've actually lost balance. So go as far back as possible. Okay. Keep your front knee bent, your left knee straight and make sure that you're straight up like that not leaning forward so you want your head over your heart over your stomach okay now i'd like you to bend your right foot so that your um, foot is facing the left corner so you might need to go a bit further back, but what I want you to do is so baby should be resting on the left hip. It's a bit complicated, but we'll get there. Okay, keep the left knee bent. It could be just a little bit bent, or if you can, nice and bent like that. And I want you, if you, if you can, let go with your right hand and put it behind you. Now, you don't want it there. You want to try and have it straight behind you, parallel to the ground. And then what I'd like you to do is look forward. And what we're actually doing, so we have our body facing here. On there, we're looking forward. And what we're doing is warrior two. But normally warrior two would look like this. Sorry, here we're pushing my cushion down. Warrior two would normally look, you've got your body, head over your heart, your heart over your stomach. Yeah, arms back and facing like that. But because we have a baby, baby is on the hip. So that's why you want baby. Okay. And like I say, you only have to do it like bend your knee that much if needs be. Okay. All right, raise, uh, straighten your left knee, grab baby, turn, and come back up. So um, do it in any way that feels comfortable. You might need to just gently ease your way back. Doesn't matter. The important thing is that you get the benefit from the move and you feel safe with baby. So I'm actually going to come to this side just so you can see. So can you hold baby on your right side? So on your right hip. Feet hip width apart. Rise at the front. Ground at the back. Shoulders back and relaxed. All right. And I'd like you to put your weight on your right foot. 
and move back. Yeah, you got that? Bend your knee as much as you feel comfortable and turn your foot going out towards your right, the right corner of the room. Okay, so we can either have our knees totally bent just a little bit. Don't lock out. Okay. Head over heart, heart over, well, over pelvis and facing as forward as possibly can. Put your left arm out behind you, pull it back, not forward like that, back. Okay. And look forward. So have a check with baby. Have your knee as bent as you feel comfortable. Check with baby. Very good, fabulous. And raise your knee, hold baby. Go onto your left toe and come back up to the top. Very good. So that's quite a lot trickier. It's quite a lot trickier with a baby. So well done. Um, and even if you had to just do a little mini one, it's fine. The important thing is that you did it. Okay, so what we're going to do next is a bit of tummy time. So we want to put baby down on their stomachs with their face, their heads facing towards the back of the mat. All right, you ready? Okay, so we won't come all the way to the top. Feet as wide as the mat. Obviously, if you don't have a mat, that's okay. As long as you're on a, a rug or a carpet to be comfortable, that's the important thing. Who needs a yoga mat? Okay, and we need to get baby onto the floor, onto their stomachs. Okay, so I actually think let's just put baby onto their stomachs. So let's get baby onto their stomachs and we want to get down there as quickly as possible. Grab your, your cloth, whatever you've got in case they need a bit of entertainment. Get down there as quickly as possible so we can entertain them. So I'd like you to be a little bit of back from baby. Okay, rise up. And bend your knees a little bit and breathe out and lower. Okay, breathe in halfway and lower. Good. Place your hands down and go onto your hands and knees. Very good. And can you put your one toe out behind you? Pull in your stomach in tight. Your other toe, one plank, very good. And either lower like that if you can. Otherwise, lower to your knee and go down. And we're going to chat to baby. Hi, baby. Hello. And remember, if they are, if they struggle, then um, put something under their chest. Okay. So breathe in. And up. Yeah, breathe in and out. Right. In. And out. If they're feeling a little bit niggly, put something in front to entertain them. Okay. I'd like you to tuck your toes under and either go up onto your knees. Actually, yeah, just go up onto your knees, putting your tummy in tight. Very good. And we're going to move into downward dog. Once again, not that space. Okay. And I'd like you, if you need to bend your knees, please bend your knees. Okay. Breathe in. And out. Bend your knees, look forward. And lower your knees down forward, sit back and grab baby, very good, and give baby a rock, very 
So I'd like you to lie baby back down on their backs. Put your hands either side. Tuck your toes under. Raise up. Into down dog. Bend your knees. And gently walk forward. And we're going to raise slowly, leaving baby on the floor. And remember, root to rise. Breathe in. Very good. Okay. Grab your fabric. And we're going to do a bit of sensory. And then we're going to do a bit of air massage. And we're going to finish off with some more yoga. All right, so feet. As wide as the mat, or if you don't have a mat, just much wider than your um, hip width. And we're going to do moving the fabric from side to side. Remember, pull your pelvis in and up, rise at the top, um, at the front. Okay. And lower your knees as you go to the middle. If that's too much, don't do it. If you can go really low, great. And figure of eight. Do as big a movement as you possibly can. Swap arms and directions. So hopefully, baby's enjoying this. And hopefully, you are getting a good stretch. Very good. Okay. So put cloth down. Stand hip with the part. Okay. Just remember, root to rise, breathe in. <sighs> Knees bent, breathe in, halfway up, breathe up, lower your hands, and I'd like you to sit back onto your heels, or if you feel more comfortable, cross-legged, if you need to put something under your bottom to bolster yourself up, please, whatever feels comfortable. I'm just going to do a little bit of baby massage. So what I'd like you to start by doing is going all the way, just gently running your hands down their faces and all the way down their bodies to their legs and their feet. So just gently. Hi. If your baby wants a cuddle, if you can tell that they're just not enjoying lying on their back doing this, Give them a cuddle. This is their time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a creaky, creaky floor. Just going to move. There we go. All right. Now grab their wrists gently and pull their arms out and then over and cross. So pull them out and cross them over, out and then cross with a different one on top. Just gently out and over. Doing some nice cross body. This really helps them figure out how their body fits together. Yep. Out and in, out and in. Very good. And now we're going to grab Gently hold onto their ankles and we're going to do the same. We're going to just cross, we're going to scissor their legs. One on top of the other. Yeah? So it's the movement of like that. So just gently out and in. 
don't force baby to do anything that they don't want to do. Okay, very good. So can you grab baby? Hold on to baby. Sit down onto your bottoms nice and gently. Very good. Now we have two options to do leg raises and I think we'll just start with holding baby. Um, eventually we'll have baby on their stomachs, on our backs going like that. But for now, let's just hold on to baby, yeah? So can you pull your stomachs in tight and lower down? Okay, we're holding on to baby. Very gently. Pull your stomachs in tight. Lift your one leg and then your other leg. Your back should be flushed on the ground and these legs should be parallel to the, the ceiling. Now if you pull the legs in tighter it's easier, if you push them further away from your body it's harder. And I'd just like you to touch your toe, right toe to the ground, left toe to the ground. You should be feeling this in your core, right toe, left toe. Right toe, left toe. You can be chatting to baby. One more on the right, up. One more on the left, up. Put your feet down. Very good. Stretch your legs out. And then let your feet relax by your side. And if baby is happy to still be lying here, just gently breathe in. And out. In. And out. And either stay here for longer you can go on about your day. Namaste.